What's up guys, Tim Little, Matt Allen. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. The last few weeks we st we've talked about post-spawn, fish transition and where they go. We talked about how some fish after summer, they stay all the way in the back, they stay up shallow. And we talked about how other fish go out and they find that ledge, that break, and that's where they're summer. So today we are talking about our top baits for shallow fish summertime. Those fish that made the move, they went up, they spawned, they backed down, they recuperated, and instead of going out to deep water, instead of following the others out, they turned around and went right back up into the cover. Those fish, they're there now. They're gonna be there a month from now. They're gonna be there all the way into fall. So you wanna know how to target those fish consistently because it's gonna be there a long time. So there's a variety of ways to do it. Let's talk about it from the top down. Why don't we do that? Let's start at the surface so top and is work in, our way down. Top is in floating baits? Yes, sir. Got it. Or sinking baits, okay. for that matter. Uh, I'm gonna start with the buzz bait. These fish get up dirt, dirt shallow. And when they do that, well, actually, let me back up. Let me talk about why they do that. When you get into those doldrums of summer, the water starts to heat up. You lose oxygen. There are two places for those fish to go out deep to get down into that oxygenated cooler water if they go shallow it's so hot it's so miserable that the best place to go is ultra 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 shallow up into the shadow edges that is the best place so you won't have a lot of fish there in the middle you're gonna have fish in less than two feet and you're gonna have fish out there in deep water, out there on the breaks and the ledges and the humps. So those shallow, shallow fish, especially early and late in the day, but really all day long, they're very susceptible to top water. One of my favorite choices is a buzz bait. You can cover a ton of water. You're making a ton of ruckus. You can move quickly. You get those hard reaction bites, especially in the morning. And then again, midday, when the shadow becomes a huge factor, when that sun gets up high, those fish suck in tight to those shadows and you know exactly where they are. You can take a buzz bait and just fly down the bank and just hit key spot, key spot, key spot, key spot, and pluck those fish off. If you're on a boat, it's a fantastic option. If you're on the bank, probably not your best choice. Yeah, when he's talking about the sun being high and the shade lines, it positions the fish for you so you, you know exactly where they're, where they're gonna be and those are the casts that you gotta make. Uh, how do you talk summertime shallow fishing without talking about a frog? We've shot so many videos on shog, uh, shog fishing, frog fishing, how to walk it, how to pop it. But we'll, we'll link to those uh, as well. But a frog, if you guys can and get your flipping stick, get some type of heavy uh, stout rod, throw some braided line on there and tie on one of these, you guys are gonna have a ball. You're gonna throw it up super shallow, you're gonna fish it just like where you'd fish with the buzz bait, except you work it slower and the fish, if you guys have never had a frog blow up or a frog bite, uh, you're in for a treat. <laughs> but frog fishing, the number one way to go in summertime shallow Absolutely. fishing. Absolutely, that is the way to catch them. Man, we both have this curse where when the frog bite turns on, it doesn't matter if we were catching 50 fish the day before we figure out there's a frog bite and you can only get three frog bluffs. We're catching three fish a day after that because we are throwing a frog until they stop eating a frog. It is that much fun. I don't care what you have to give up to get on a frog bite. When you get on one, it is addicting, man. Um, so dropping down below the surface, I'm gonna talk about both of these together. Spinnerbait and a chatterbait. Both phenomenal ways to cover water, to get reaction bites up shallow. For me personally, both of them are typically a morning thing. Typically once the sun gets up high and it's just baking on you, you have to slow down and be methodical. But in the morning you don't. Those fish are up, that water cooled down a few degrees during the night and they are up doing everything they can to get their meal so that they can go relax all day and sit in the shade. So the spinnerbait and the chatterbait if you have shad in the water, I personally believe the spinnerbait is your better choice. If you don't have shad, I prefer a chatterbait. The chatterbait, I think, mimics more things. It mimics different bait fish, bluegills, crappies, little bait fish, big bait fish. It's all mimicked by a chatterbait. There's something about a spinnerbait with a double willow that just perfectly replicates 
I mean, it, it replicates Shad clearly because of the result we get. I don't know what it is about the vibration or the sound out of a spinnerbait blade, but double willow, if you're on Shad, that is your choice. You will smash them early and late in the day when that water is cool and they can get out there and feed heavily. So following up on that, we're talking subsurface now. I love a shallow running square bill. Something that you can throw up shallow, you can burn, pause, burn, pause, you hit grass, pop, pop, get that deflection, get that, that reaction bite, trigger those fish. A little shallow running square bill, to me, is a great, probably my favorite subsurface bait because yeah. you're constantly moving the bait, you're constantly working it, and, and they eat it. So yeah, where you would throw the chatter bait, where you throw the, the spinner bait, a little shallow running square bill is another great option. Yeah. Now, middle of the day, those fish, they start sucking into that cover. If they're not reacting to top water like you want, another place to go, punching. Super heavy setup, flipping deep into the cover. Because we already talked about it, those fish are gonna burrow in as shallow as they can into the shade and just sit there. A heavy weight, Texas rigged with a good creature bait, Go right down through that, right through that overhead canopy, right in front of those fish. You can get on a wide open bite. When everybody else is telling you there's not a bite, you can be blasting them. I mean, right up in the thick stuff and just wailing on them. It is so much fun. It's a fantastic one-two punch with the frog. If they won't eat the frog, punch. If they'll eat a frog, set your punch rod down. <laughs> The next bait I'm going to talk about is uh, it's actually more than one bait, I guess, but it's going to be something finesse, something that is weedless. So a weedless Senko, a shaky head, something like that, because these fish are positioning themselves way up shallow. And if you throw up there and you get hung up, if you have an exposed hook and you get hung up, the worst thing you can do is have to go up there to get your bait because now right. you just ruin the entire area. So fish, something that's weedless, a shaky head, a Senko. Uh, a weedless drop shot, something like that. You know where the fish are. You're going to fish the same areas with as, as the other baits, but now you got a little bit more finesse presentation and something that's not going to get hung up. Yeah, and, and really that carries through everything that we just talked about. Buzz baits and frogs are incredibly weedless. Spinner baits and chatter baits without a trailer hook, incredibly weedless. Square bills are made to deflect. Punching, obviously weedless. Everything in shallow water is geared towards never getting snagged. Because like he said, if you hang up, you've blown it. If you have to go in there, it's over. You You're need to go somewhere completely yeah. different. Yeah. So focus on baits across the board that are weedless, that give you your best odds of getting in and out without a problem. Start with top water, work your way down. Eventually you end up at finesse, throwing that shaky head. If you have to, you're gonna have a blast. Get out there. A lot of people get beat up during the summer. They don't catch fish, it's hot, and they just call it quits. They take the summer off. Don't be that guy. You can get up there ultra shallow and wail on those fish on hot days, man. I mean, we talk to people at the gas station. They look at you, we're all dripping sweat, and they're like, you went out there? Well, did you catch anything? <laughs> like, oh yeah. I mean, we're not out there dripping because it's fun. We're out there because you can wail on them and that's fun. Get out there this summer, put some time in on the water, have a blast. Don't be afraid to go ultra, ultra shallow. I mean, I'm talking skinny water. Those fish get up in those shade lines. You're gonna have fun this year, guys. If you guys have any comments or questions, video ideas, please leave those down below in the comment section. Just like every video, everything we talked about, the baits, the gear, the colors, everything will be linked down below. And uh, remember, if you guys like the video, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel. We're doing three videos a week for you guys. We appreciate you. Have a good one. Thanks, guys.